Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so I was going to make a video on spiritual warfare, but which I probably am going to do this evening. It's going to be a little less time than this one, but um, I want to do a little, um, I want to do another introduction because I started this channel without a formal introduction. When um, I did the video of why I needed to start doing this prayer, I did not, um, I was, I mean, it was a lot, you know, it's not every day you start hearing, you know, you start um, like dealing with the things that I started dealing with. I'm not ready to talk about everything that I did, but 15, I think it's 15. No, I think it's a little bit more because today is the 14th day of prayer. So I think I was going through those challenges for like three or four days before I threw out the first video. And then the following day I started the prayer. So it's going on a little while. Um, today I feel much better and, um, and there's a lot of clarity now why I was supposed to come out with these videos. And that's actually what I want to speak about because, um, you know, a lot of people, they, um, they're like me, right? Um, I used to, I believe in God. I love my father. Um, but I didn't go to church. Um, I will open up my Bible. That's one thing. I will always seek God. But not every day, you know. Um, I still listen to the word, right? I'm getting older, so my excuse was, "Oh, my vision, my eyesight." <laughs> There's always an excuse. But um, one of the things that I needed in my life, because I've gone through so much turmoil in my life, is that the word of God, the word of God, will always calm me down, and it does. It really does. He is the great equalizer. He, once you start listening to his words and start learning how to meditate on his words, um, he brings you peace. And that's something that I really wanted to bring out right now. Because, so, in the kingdom of God, in the kingdom that's gonna that's being open, right, um, there is, different levels, right? And everybody, everybody has their position. In it. And basically, if you've seen this, he's calling out to you, right? He wants you to, to know that um, you're his child, right? So it's time to come back home, right? Um, and, and the thing is, is that one of the things that has stopped me from being at church is just that I didn't see truth all the time, right? Truth is like, you know, you can't tell a grown person <laughs> half of these guys or the, or in other words, are they being real? You know, what's the hypocrisy? Like there's always, you're always looking at something, something's right, wrong, right? And the reason why is that we all sinners, period. Even the preachers, whatever. But they, a lot of people take this authority over someone else and that's not really work and actually um that's something that um i've had a big issue with right um and so therefore i always search for god on my own always you know but he's helped me he's helped me with um everything <laughs> I mean, right now he has me on a total diet check and he is thorough. Like I am not on, I can't eat meat right now um, because that has to do with spiritual warfare. Not that he's telling me, no, I can't eat meat. Okay. Let's be clear on that. Um, you know, there's certain things that, you know, it's not good when you're dealing with the type of spirits that I'm dealing with at the present time because of what I'm supposed to do later on, okay? Not everybody's gonna have to deal with that, but other people will deal with 
other things because we all have a calling and that's a fact okay um yeah that's a fact everybody has a call everybody has their position and you would know at due time um okay let me see what else i want to cover uh oh my favorite um the blinded sheep a lot of people talk about the sheeple and being blinded. Um, there's a big power in that. Okay. Uh, and the only way I could explain that is that the blinded sheep have an, a faith that's so strong. And I'm not talking about the people that just listen to the um. Let me see how to say it. Not people that listen to people. I'm talking about people that listen to God. <laughs> All right. Because there's sheeple that just listen to whatever the authorities or tell them to go do. And they do. And they follow. Right. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the people that follow God. Blindly. Right. Um, there's a big power in that. Huge. Right. Because you acknowledging that you don't have to see or you don't you, you don't necessarily need that visual proof where you know your father is there, right? And so you're conscious. That means, in other words, that's what I want to get to. You, you you have an inner an inner into it within you that acknowledges what's right and what's wrong. Right. So being that you acknowledge this, you're literally in tune with your father. Right. Because your father's you, he lives, he is, he's in within you, you know. So there's people that they, they're able to hear God. There's people that they're able to decipher God response in other ways. It depends who you are. It's guaranteed. I could guarantee this somehow or another, whether you call it intuition, whether you call it a sign, I don't care what you call it, but your father communicates with you somehow. And you have to acknowledge this because we're at the time you have to acknowledge this, right? Because you're going to need him, right? Um, yeah. And I wanted to bring that to everybody's attention. Um, right. Intuition. So how do we, what people say is intuition, I call your conscious, your God conscious, definitely. You know, if they haven't brought it up to you like that, let me be the first one to tell you, yes, that's your, you know, and, um, and so the spirit does move like, um, one of the things that might stop you right now is the fear right? Fear or the, the, what is called in the Bible, hither, thither, something like that, that where you're going back and forth, you're rocking back and forth and you're anxious, right? And, and this happens. See, this is where spiritual warfare comes in because you always have, and this goes for everybody. I would say this a hundred times. And I'll be ready to dispute this with any preacher, okay? You could have, I mean, you have to be in constant prayer for you to tell me that you're not going to have a weak moment where a, a, a dark spirit could latch onto you. And that's where they feed off the energy. Because it's, I, I keep telling, I keep saying it, I'm, I'm going to say it again. These um, demi these forces that we're dealing with, they're constantly around us. And that's why you feel like they have the upper hand. But, you know, if we go back in the days, back in the days, the way the Bible was taught, back in the days when they knew that you had to rebuke these spirits, back in the days when they knew that something is incorrect, back in the days when they didn't accept all the nonsense um, that's being accepted and tolerated nowadays when we know it's incorrect, you know, um, then we wouldn't have so much of an issue that we have now. 
but evil is something that it, it um it infests it, it, it's like a bad bug um, infestation you literally have to cast it out you have to rebuke it out you have to cleanse and that's where we at right now it is out of control period And this is nothing new. If you go into the Bible, it's happened in every single, I mean, in every age. You know, you just have to um, read about it. And usually that's how, I hate to, I don't like to say his name, Satan and all his minions, because Satan is not one, it's many, many, okay? Um, it's a, it's, it's a spirit. It, it, there's many, you have to understand that they hide this truth from us, right? Um, they hide it. Even the churches now, they're all, um, there's a bigger agenda. I don't even want to get into that. That's not important to me. What's important to me is for me to be able to come out with this information because we need to cleanse ourselves and we could do it ourselves. You know, um, yeah, God gives us authority. This prayer that he sent me, it's its all there. Just read it. There was only several um, pieces that, I, that, we, that it was put in be, before I even, I mean, that was all confirmed, you know, with God, you know, and it took me three days to, and, and I couldn't sleep because it was like, you're going to do this, you know, and I had to do it. And now that I'm walking in the path that he wanted me to walk, I'm so much better. I mean, he has taken me away from so many things. Um, and yeah, and it's all preparation. I know this. I've studied the Bible, even though I'm not, uh, what can we call it? Like, I, you know, is I'm not an expert in the Bible, but I know enough about my stories to know the time that we're in. But I also know that the the devil is a liar, right? And he he is such a liar that he wants to get as many in his kingdom as he can. So he will deceive you thinking that the time is now when it's not. And at the end of the day, what I see is that this world has allowed so much evil to encroach upon us um, and ignore our authority. You know, um, that of course is going to become in chaos. And is there a way to change it? Yes, there is. It's really easy. This is the thing. This is where it gets me upset, right? Because all the, I hate to call them the powers that be because, you know, but all these powers that be, they have no power, right? They rely on that spiritual power, right? And yet, we're trying to counteract that on a mundane force, like, oh, we're going to protest, oh, we're going to get together, we're going to do this and that. But yet, they are going to the spiritual realm, cooking up their little magic, because this is the difference, right? They have magic, which they have to um, compose rituals. We all have heard of all the ugly and stupid things that they do. And I don't even want to get involved, um, talk about that because something that I've been praying against for many years. I think that's why my father has put me in the position that he's put me in, right? Because in my own way, I've been praying against that, hoping that that will break apart because I've been knowing the not, the, the ugliness that they do. But any which way. Now it's come to the point that they do this ugliness and they create this energy. And in order for them to create that energy, that's what brings out. Plus that they have killed us with their diet, with, with um, putting GMOs in our foods and 
tainting our waters and programming our minds and diluting um our brains with all these programs and then on top of that they've taken god from us listen again i will repeat just like i told i told everybody in my spiritual warfare um video 100 years ago you could not you could not confuse the population like this because god was with them they read their bible they knew better you know and so I'm sorry to say this, but I think we've caused this upon ourselves and there's a way to fix it. And he, he sends us the prayer, but that's also to bring, that's for you to know how to protect yourself, dealing with the spiritual power. But then also we have to bring out how you cleanse yourself. So I'm going to leave it at that. It's 15. This video is going on 16 minutes. I do not want to let it go further than that. Because my purpose is to get people together so then we could start taking classes. And I don't mind starting the Bible all over from Genesis 1. I just want to have enough of a crowd so we could start, you know, and we could exchange ideas. What do you think? What do, what do I think? Because that's the way um, God is, is um, supposed to be spoken about right um if you go into the old testament and the way um god used to have his priests back in the old days in leviticus right um priests were there to do the um, to keep the ordinances you know what i'm saying like um they had different um processes and keeping things holy and you know, God is very meticulous in the way he likes his things done. He really is. And he is very thorough and he is on point. And there is, n when it comes to his timing, it's all. So just to give a little bit of good hope, I mean, good faith. And just so you could understand, this war is won. And we all going to, you, you all going to see the power and the glory of our father. There's no hiding that because every knee shall bow. That power is coming. It's just there. And it's so amazing. He loves us and he always prepares us and he loves all his children. It's a, it's an overwhelming love. I can't even explain it. I've been in awe for the past two. I'm sorry. I've just been in awe. And he loves us. And just talk to him. They put on so much requirements and God just wants you to talk to him. That's it. He's never let me down. And I've been a sinner all, all my life. He never let me down. Ever. So. Yeah. I have prayer sessions. 7 in the morning. 7 p.m. I try to make them 10 minutes long, maybe 12, 13. I'm getting better. This is going to be my, well, tonight we have a session. That's the 14th session. Tomorrow will be the 15th day. Um, and if you hear this, please share. Thank you so much. And um, talk to God tonight. Bendición.